Welcome, friends. It's been a very long time since we've been in a class together. And I'm afraid some of you may be out of practice. So I have designed a review video so we can go over the movements that we've learned in Tai Chi for Arthritis and Fall Prevention 1. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start with a warm up. So make sure you're back is nice and straight, your shoulders are relaxed, your joints are nice and soft, and you've got a little bit of play in your knees. And we'll start with neck stretches. So bring your arms up to about shoulder height. Now hands face in and slide your head back as your hands come toward you. And away and down. Right, let's do that again. And hands come up. Now they turn in and slide that head back. And away and down. All right. Third time's the charm. Let's come up. Now let's imagine we're holding an energy ball and we're going to have one hand hold down the earth while the other hand leaves your head and only your head is moving. The rest of your body stays facing forward. Hands come back and they briefly meet and now this hand holds down the earth and this hand directs the head. And back to the center. Let's do that again. This is relaxing. Just enjoy the movement and the music. We'll do one more on each side. All right, now shoulders. Let's gather chi. Breathe in, and your arms only go up about shoulder height, and we grab all the good energy around us and place it inside us, exhaling. Breathe in all the love and peace and joy, and as you exhale, put those things inside you. Remember, we breathe in through our nose. And exhale through our mouth. Okay, so now we're going to grab an energy ball again. And we're going to do heaven and earth. So let's hold up the heavens with this hand and hold down the earth with the other. Now meet back in the center at that energy ball and reverse. So now this hand holds down the earth and this hand holds up the heavens. Remember to keep some song in those joints. We don't fully extend. We always have a little bit of play in our elbows and our knees. We are practicing a sun shot, a sun style Tai Chi. And back to the center. Okay, so now we're going to hold the energy ball again. And we're going to 
turn to the side. Now start changing your hands and moving back. So imagine that there's a bunch of sand in, in your one foot and we are adjusting it so that when you're in the center, it's evenly distributed and when you get all the way to the other side, all of the weight is fully there. So evenly distribute. Now let's shift that sand to the side and begin the shift. to move very far. This short distance is far enough. Okay, now for my favorite balance exercise. Put your weight on one foot and imagine you're standing at the shoreline and put your heel of the foot that does not have your weight in the imaginary water, balancing behind you with your hands. Now center, now toe in the sand, and center. Now put your weight on that foot, and bring your other foot. Heel in the water, center, toe in the sand, and center. Change weight, heel in the water, now, if you're feeling ready, you can go directly to toe in the sand. I do recommend that you find a focal point. And other side, heel in the water, center, toe in the sand, and center. Okay, third time, heel in the water, center, Toe in the sand and center. Now, as you get stronger in your legs, you may want to do all three on one side before shifting to the other. And in that way, the length of holding your weight will be developing strength. Okay, so for our next class, our next exercise, we are going to make fists, nice loose fists, and they're facing up. Relax your legs, make sure your spine is nice and straight, your shoulders are relaxed. So we're going to be doing a spiral punch, and at the same time we're going to lift the opposite knee, a little kick, and land on the ball of your foot. And side. And then stand. And back. Kick and punch. And back. Are you making sure you have the opposite fist and the opposite foot? And back. One more. And center. And again. And back. Okay. We're going to do a uh, almost the same thing only instead of landing on the ball of your foot we're going to go we're going to do heel toe so and you don't have to do the little kick so heel toe and center heel toe and center are you doing a spiral punch there's much more force in a spiral punch than there is in just a straight punch. And again, we are making sure not to fully extend our arms, keeping some play in those joints. All right, and now let's work our ankles out a little bit. So, rest your hands over the center of your energy, which is called the Dantian, and heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, and center. 
change B and heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, and center. Now tap the outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, and center. Last one, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, and center. Okay, take a deep breath. So now we're ready to begin the core movements. Okay, we're now ready to do the core movements. I'm going to move at an angle here. Um, in class, when we're together, I can do back on so that you can see your left from your right. I don't have that advantage, and I don't want to face you because I don't want you to mirror me. I want you to keep your left and your right straight. So, this is the compromise, going at an angle. All right, commencement. Keep your back nice and straight, your shoulders relaxed, your knees, song, and let us begin. Our arms come up to chest height, and now they come straight down. And as they come towards your hips, shift your weight to your right foot. Now, as your hands come up along your body, left foot goes forward. Put your weight on your left foot. Bring your right foot forward as your hands come out. Now, drop your elbows, ending in prayer position. Open and close. Single whip right. Angle off to the right. Put your hands on an imaginary window. Left hand opens the curtain, and as it does so, you are shifting your weight to your left foot. And your foot and hand come in. Waving hands three times to the right. Step out to the right, change hands, and wave your hands from the left to the right. Now, step in and change your hands and wave from the right to the left. Remember during the numbers your feet should be apart too. Step apart, change hands, feet first always, and left to the right. Now feet together, step in, change hands, and wave. Three. Step, change hands, wave, and step in, change hands, and wave. Now realign yourself to front and center in prayer position. Open and close. Now single whip left. Put your hands on the window to the left. Right hand opens the curtain following the movement with your head and shifting your weight to the right foot. Right foot and right hand come in. Now waving hands three times to the left. Step, change hands, and wave. And step in, change hands, and wave. Two, step, change hands. Wave, and step in, change hands, and wave. Three, step, change hands, and wave. And step in, change hands, and wave. Now realign yourself back to front and center. Open, close, and closing movement. Okay, we're going to do it again. This time, I'm just going to announce the movements. If you need more direction, then simply replay that section of the video. Commencement.
open and close. Single whip right. Waving hands three times to the right. Align yourself to the front, open and close. Single whip left. Waving hands three times to the left. Open and close. Closing movement. Okay, and now we'll just do the movements without any talking. And there you have it, 